Morning guys, it is Saturday the 22nd of February. I may look atrocious, but I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I hope you are all okay. I'm sorry that I have been poorly in most of Feb vlog, and as a result I have whinged a lot of it. Um, so sorry about that guys. But yes, it is the 22nd. Um, myself and John have been together 11 years today. How crazy is that? 11 years. Crazy. Um, so we're going to do something later. I'm not sure if we're going to go... Because last night we couldn't make our mind up if we were going to go out for dinner. Or go to the cinema and see the new Nick Frost film. Um, so I'm not sure. But whatever we do, I will take you with us. Um, I've got to sleep in past 8 o'clock today. Because didn't have the we didn't have an Asda delivery because we had a really big one last week um, so I was able to stay in bed and I was like oh I can have a lion but about a minute to eight Gilly was like <laughs> so I got up anyway but yes the sun is shining um, John only has to work half a day so it should be a good day today Yo It's me It's one o'clock It's finished work So Really average morning. Into the cash and carry. So a bit hectic. A lot to get this morning. Get done. And then um, I had to do an exam. When I say exam. It's a test. Once every uh, probably like once every couple of months, we have to do a ten question multiple choice test, just to make sure that you know. I'm still bob on to doing my job. Yes, but they're joking it, eh? they treat me like a child. But the thing is, like, they send you the workbook that you're supposed to read first. And um you're supposed to read through the workbook, then do the test. And you've got like a month to do it. Now not about anyone else, but I'm a, I'm a busy man. I've got stuff to do, you know. Works busy. You know, it's a business, isn't it? It's not like set that paid to sit there and do nothing. If I don't do anything, I don't get nothing. Alright, so it's like, I've got better things to be doing than doing stuff like that. You know what I mean? Time's money and all that. I'm not trying to be like some Alan Sugar or something, but, you know, I've got stuff to do. So, when you get three weeks into the month of having to do this test, you ain't got so you haven't done your test yet? So, yeah, no. So, why not? So, well, the deadline's the end of next week. So, I'll do it sometime next week. Well, why haven't you done it already? Because you've got four weeks to do it, and it's only three weeks. Oh, all right. Do you have it done before next whatever? Yeah. All right. Because that's the point of a deadline, isn't it? That you do it before. You know, somebody gets paid to ring me up and other people up and say, why aren't you done your test? I feel like saying to them, have you done it? Do you know what I do? Eh, because I, you know, no, they're the hell, because they don't know what it's, what it's about. I have no idea. You think you just sit there all day and do nothing, do you know what I mean? Jokers. Anyway, today we've, I've been with Katie for 11 years. 11 years, it seems like a long time that, doesn't it? Probably because it is, it's like more than a third of my life. Do you know what I mean? Hell. Long time. Anyway, so tonight we're going out. We've got a nice little table booked for a fish restaurant. The city. Um, so yeah, we're going to a fish run to a restaurant called Hooked. Hooked in the city. Um, we went there when I graduated from uni. I had my graduation ceremony in um, Trail Cathedral. Wicked day that was. A lot like Harry Potter with that on. And um, yes, yeah, so we went there afterwards. Had a nice lunch. A well, late lunch. Lovely it was. Then come on, had a party, got drunk. 
so ill the next day, it wasn't even funny. Drinking Jaeger bombs. But we weren't even normal Jaeger bombs, it was me and my mate, Charlie. We was drinking what we like to call a uh, power Jaeger bomb. So, right, instead of having vodka and Red Bull with a Jaeger Meister in the middle, we just start. The Jägermeister in the middle of a glass. You know, you like you top it up to like a certain level, just so that the Jäger glass floats in the water. So in, in the in the drink. So when you drink it, it all mixes in. Like, well, what we did was we um, we didn't put Red Bull in. We just filled it up with vodka. So we had like half a glass of vodka with the Jägermeister sat in it. Yeah, that was messy. Anyway, sat at traffic lights right now. Going home. Walk the dogs. Have a spot of lunch. And tarp myself up. Look what the postman just delivered. Very excited. A reckless journal. I've been seeing these. And um, Darwin already decided to help me wreck it. I don't know if you can see as he decided to rip it out of the door from when the postman put it in so he's already had a helping hand in wrecking this journal thanks Darwin, Darwin thank you for helping me and for breakfast stroke lunch today I've got some pasta soup and some bread and a giddy change of plan see handsome John's right there Yo. we as I've already said it is our 11 year anniversary today and um, we were trying to think of things to do and we talked about going to different places for dinner and then we talked about maybe going to the cinema and then John very kindly booked a table at a restaurant that we both really like, didn't you? Yeah, I talked about that earlier. Oh, you did? But basically, it's a lovely fish place but it's going to cost us about a million pounds to get there because the train situation in Cornwall since all the weather warnings and the flooding that's happened, that, um, it's, there's no longer a train out of Cornwall, but that it's kind of had a knock-on effect on the rest of the trains in the county. So the train is kind of a non-event. Somebody was looking at a cab, and for a return, it's like 60, 70 quid. And that's just ridiculous. You think, you're, you're now going, it's now kind of, you're talking, 150, 200 quid evening out, which is ridiculous. Scandalous. So, so, so scandalous. Du, du. Is that Mystique? Yeah. I don't begrudge paying it because we don't go out very often anymore. Because we're boring. You know? and, but it, it's just not. You just don't know what's around the corner, do you? So it's like, um, they're really worth paying 200. 150, 200 quid go out for one night. Mm. Especially as it was only going to cost us like 200 pounds to go on our mini break in April that we're not going anymore, which I'm still really gutted about. So, and it's the fact that it was meant to be nice today and dry and sunny and now it's gone all dark and grey and drizzly and I don't want to be walking around the city centre in the rain. So, we are off the way on the way to Tesco's where we're going to buy some alcohol and some oh i'm looking to someone's garden and um, we're gonna buy some alcohol and we're gonna buy some ice cream and um, i think we should buy a treat for darwin and gilly yeah. um and then later on we're gonna order chinese so none of it's diet friendly none of it is is extremely extraordinary but it's kind of what we discussed and we decided what is what we want to do we are on the way home and the boot is chink linking <laughs> We uh, nipped to Tesco's to get a couple of bits. And um, how much did we spend, John? 60 quid. Not tonight, we're supposed to be home. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll save a bit of money. We'll... What? 60 quid. Um, but you, you know, it's still cheaper than going out. We've got a good DVD, though. Yeah, got a good DVD. We have seen it before, yeah. but it's like one of, it's an epic film. Um, and I did get a giant thing of Pick-A-Mix 
Because it's not a Saturday. Whoop, whoop. And we also bought juice for hangover. Whoa. Oh. I don't even know what I want to do like 15 miles an hour. Let's hope nothing's broken. If you can't hear it and you just think me and John are pulling funny faces, all the bottles that are in the... Um, that would be about right, that wouldn't it? In the boot are uh, making quite a lot of racket. So I spent 60 quid at Tesco and then smashed the bottles on the way home in the car. Yeah, well, good. We'll see when we get home. We are home. Um, I'm just going to show you what we picked up. Not going to do a full haul on the other channel yeah, because... Put in. What we picked up for our 60 quid. Yeah, I'll just show you what we picked up for our 60 pounds. Yeah, as I said, can't do another haul video because that'd be two days of naughty food on the uh, main channel, but... We're all mates, so I know you won't judge me. Um, so yes, it looks like this. We got a tub of pick and mix. Mmm. We got the Blindside DVD with Sandra Brooke, which is epic. Hey, John. Jo I was just showing them. John picked up this coffee that goes in his machine. That he's already drunk some, but it looks like that. Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. So yeah, um, I've not seen this one before, but it goes in this little machine. We've got a big bottle of this Jeeves stuff, which is like Pims. For the boys, we got a chewy starfish that I think is really funny. Looks a bit like that. They're going to get them after their walk today. And we've got two of those. And then this looks kind of a little bit mean, I think, but it's like um, a chewy turtle. Yeah. So we've got two of those as well. And then we've got a cookie dough cheesecake. Mmm. <laughs> and then we've got a pack of dental sticks. Another pack of dental sticks. A pack of mini eggs that when you shake it, it's only half full. A pack of Starburst, which is full all to the top, and because these were on offer for like 70p. Half a cucumber, some strawberries that are going to go into said pretend pims, a bottle of apple tizer. That is apple and pomegranate flavour. My battery's flashing. Um, some vanilla syrup for John's coffee. Um, a carton of orange juice for John tomorrow. Some milk. Some banana milkshake. And two bottles of this Alco Pop, which is called Caribbean Twist. Good boy, darling. And good boy, Gilly. And good boy, John. I have put my pyjamas on. Who says romance is dead, hey? I have the Chinese menu. And yes, I'm going to order some good stuff. Good as in tastes good, not good as in healthy. Because there is no diet this weekend. There's no diet most weekends in this house. Really struggling with long-term focus here, but hey, we can talk about that topic another day because today is all about the Chinese and obviously the love that me and John have shared for 11 years. <laughs> and we have a giant Chinese takeaway and a cheeky glass of Alco Pop. Mm -mm -mm. We've had our epic Chinese. It was massive. The boys have had their dinner. And now John is giving them one of their sweeties that we got from Tesco's. <gasps> oh. These are what we've got. Hang on. Come Starfish. Come. It's a bit dark. Let's have a look. They look really odd. Come, give it. You do. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, sounds heavy. 
Ooh. It's like by the sounds of it, it sounds like it's a toy hat, the weight of it, not a chew. No, 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 no definitely a chew. Yeah, they can't pick it up. <laughs> Who can't? He's merry, managed. Do we like these? I think so, mommy. You like it? Yeah! There's yours, darling. It's over there. Yours is over there. He's just sniffing. Because he's all wet. It's because he's been outside, isn't he? Oh. Successful treat, I'm going to say. I'm making our fake pims. This is John. John's having the little glass. I'm having the big glass. Um, so this has got strawberry, cucumbers. Cucumber? Strawberries and cucumber. And then ice cubes. Um, that have blueberries frozen in them and voila a fruity cheeky little Saturday night drink it is about 20 past 12 and we watched The Blind Side with Sandra Bullock true story made me cry, always does epic film um, drank a couple of pims so I'm feeling a little bit rosy of cheek um, Oh yeah, now we're gonna go to bed, aren't we? Yeah. John's just put nice clean bedding on. It's always good. Should have a nice sleep. Are you gonna say night to our friends? Yo 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 yo. <laughs> What's with the yo 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 yo? No, it's what I do, isn't it? It's like my YouTube tread, man. Yo 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 yo. Night. Okay, I hope you had a lovely Saturday. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Out with my hair back and forth, out with my hair back and forth. Uh. Out with my hair back and forth, out with my hair back and forth. You think you're Willow Smith? Hello, good morning, good morning. Out with my hair back and forth, out with my hair back and forth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning, John Beach. <laughs> What's the plan for today, Mr. Man? Yeah, I got rugby. Rugby. Not my rugby. Rugby. Somebody else's rugby. We like the first game of rugby I've photographed in about four or five months. So the second I've done in about ten months. And you call yourself a photographer? Most photographer. Yeah. Been a bit slack since last summer. Mm. Gilly down. 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 You want a fortune cookie? Do you want to see what my fortune is? Go on then. We could be millionaires. We bought a lottery ticket last night. Yeah, I'm scratch cards. Get them out. Let's get them out. Millionaires. Oh, no, no. Well. So, for breakfast today, John is having fortune cookie. Wow. Does it taste nice, fortune cookie? Mm -hmm. Is it a nice fortune cookie? It is, yeah. It's very, very crunchy. A little bit hard, but yeah. We need to get a bit better on this train in Malarkey. Down. Down. He's interested Down. in what your fortune is. Down. Down, Gil. Down. 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 No. Oh, look at Darwin sitting like a good boy. Right. Go on then. What's your fortune. fortune? Look at everything as though you were seeing it for the first time or last time. When your time on Earth will be. Oh, sorry, <clears throat> then your time on earth will be filled with glory. That was in the bit that was creased. So I just want a fiver on a scratch card. Woohoo! Brunch is served. Gilly's intrigued. No, Gilly. No. Um, basically, we have some scrambled egg, some bacon, extra lean bacon that was done on the George Foreman grill, some spaghetti. I was going to say soups, but it's not, it's just spaghetti. 
and then a couple of mini sausages. John's gone out, he's off to the rugby. And I'm feeling a little bit of a Debbie Downer, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, basically, obviously, <laughs> basically, obviously. Just, I've been working a lot and been ill a lot this month and stressed. So that's kind of getting to me. And the fact that we've had to cancel our mini break in April. The reason, if you haven't seen that part of whichever day we found that out. Um, we were going to go glamping and it's kind of like this wooden hut place and it was going to be Gilly's first holiday um, but you can't, we can take both boys but they're not allowed in a certain part of the house and oh how could we leave you outside in the cold? We couldn't do that to you on your first holiday. Might as well just stay at home. But it's just a little bit depressing that no mini break. No mini break. But yeah, and some other bits and bobs. But I was te oh oh do you love your mummy? Do you love mummy? Sorry. But I was texting Elaine and um she's kinda of cheered me up, so thank you, Elaine. Um but yes. Uh, what am I doing now? I'm going to go on the old Tintinex. I need to order a birthday present for my niece. And I need to order a birthday present for my mum. And then I might make a little start on my wreck, wreck this journal. I don't know, because originally I kind of thought, oh, I should probably do a little intro video before I do anything. But I don't think I can be asked to put proper makeup on and, and do my hair and to sit down and do like a proper video. Um, and I really want to play with my reckless journal so I'm just going to have to make a start I think. Um, but I think I might do reckless journal videos, I don't know, sorry there's a mark on my camera. Um, I don't know, is that something you guys would be interested in seeing? I don't know. Alright, so this Debbie Downer is gonna go and do something. It's a lot later now. I am still in my pyjamas because I'm that cool. Um, so I did all the shopping I needed to do. I ordered my niece some, some, a birthday present and I ordered my mum a birthday present and um, now I'm cooking tea. Um, I was feeling a bit lazy and then I realised we had steak in the fridge that needed to be cooked and I didn't have room in the freezer so we're having steak for tea. Um, hopefully it tastes good. For dinner we have steak with premier light cheese, potatoes, corn, broccoli and sprouts and a hyperactive gilly. So it is time for bed. Um, yes, it's been an okay, okay kind of Sunday. I spent the evening colouring in as I think John's already told you. I have, um, I'm going to say got three quarters of the way through my first play page in my wreck this journal. It looks a bit like this. Poke holes in this page using a pencil. And they are zombies. Zombies. Um, I think I'm going to do proper videos addressing my this journal so I won't go into too much detail now because I don't want to repeat myself and bore you guys so tomorrow is Monday it is the last week of Feb vlog um and I will see you there night guys peace out <laughs> look at Darwin he's like upside down he is definitely ready for bed, bed. Definitely ready for bedtime. Are you ready for bedtime, Beach? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the nights? Look, no, I'm playing. I'm playing and sitting on the sofa funny. Crazy dog. Okay, night, guys.